we are going to discuss now as i talk last episode the double edge coincu when we are going to make double edge coincu we clearly understand how to make the double edge coincu most of the time so they are not able to understand how to make the double edge coincu therefore sometimes we feel that to they are asking the questions but to it is not actually it is not accurate they are not asking the questions they just give the answer like asking questions and if we don't know properly how to ask the questions we cannot understand either they are asking questions or giving answers and we should understand we should know clearly about that to either they are asking questions or giving answers and if you know properly how to make double edge questions we will understand about that as i told you there are two kind of questions are there sr no questions double edge questions sr no questions ante emo kaadu edaithe helping verbs unayo vaatini manamu sr no questions antam helping verbs auxiliary verbs leda modal verbs veerannitni kuda manamu sr no questions antam edaithe sr no questions unayo vaatito manamu double edge questions ni form cheyagalu what are the sr no questions are there along with to with them we can make double edge questions and to make double edge question we need sr no question like for example ramu is going to guntur ramu is going to guntur and if you see clearly now the part guntur is underlined and what are the part is underlined the underlined part we need to get as a answer to get underlined part as a answer we have to make we going to make double edge questions we need to understand very clearly about that let us look at here ramu is going to guntur now the part guntur is underlined what are the part underlined the underlined part we need to get as a answer the underlined part now the underlined part indicates how it indicates what it indicates we need to see what is this the guntur is actually is a place it is a place and when it is a place we need to understand we need to know what kind of question we need to ask to that as i told you clearly when it is a place we have to use where where indicates place and now see where now it is a guntur now guntur you have to get as answer therefore we use the double edge question is where where immediately to that to in the above sentence if you observe very clearly there is helping verb the helping verb is is what is the helping verb the helping verb is is now is we need to get after that double edge question then to get answer where is ramu going where is ramu going now the answer is to guntur where is ramu going means ramu is going to guntur now the underlined part we need to get as a answer and this is the way we need to follow mostly sr no questions will be there in the above sentence sr no questions will be there whatever the sr no questions that sr no questions we have to use in the double edge form if we use that sr no question in the double edge form it will be very easy to you to make the questions simply if i say it could be the clue to you to make double edge questions and double edge question will be there immediately whatever sr no question is there నేను చెప్పాను మీకు ముందే ఎస్ఆర్ నో క్వశ్చన్ అంటే ఏదో కాదు యాక్సిల్ వర్బ్స్ హెల్పింగ్ వర్బ్స్ లేదా మోడల్ వర్బ్స్ హెల్పింగ్ వర్బ్స్ ని లేదా యాక్సిల్ వర్బ్స్ రెండు ఒకటే ఒక్కొక్కరు ఒక లాగా పిలుస్తారు దర్ ఇస్ నో ప్రాబ్లమ్ అట్ ఆల్ విత్ దట్ అండ్ మోడల్ వర్బ్స్ దిస్ వన్ టు వి హౌ టు మేక్ ఇట్ అండ్ వి నీడ్ టు నో ఇట్ దట్ నో దట్ వి నీడ్ టు నో ఆల్ ద థింగ్స్ దెన్ వి కెన్ మేక్ దిస్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ద అండర్లైన్ దిస్ రాము ఇఫ్ వి అండర్లైన్ రాము ద అండర్లైన్ పార్ట్ వి నీడ్ టు గెట్ యాజ్ ఎ ఆన్సర్ we are going to underline before we underline do to guntur the to guntur indicates place when we say the place the place where we take double edge question is where now i am going to underline or i have underlined the part is ramu now the ramu indicates ramu is a person when ramu is a person we have to use for ramu what type of question do we use do you know we use who 
Ramu indicates to person. When is a person, we use who as a WH question. Now, who is going to Guntur? Who is going to Guntur? Now, who is going to Guntur? So, this is the way how to make the double H question. With the help of the helping of Shu, we can make easily. That is the way we can know, we should know how to make questions, double H question. In case, one more question, let me tell you. One more sentence, otherwise. Ramu had completed the work. Ramu has completed the work. Now I am going to underline the work. If I underline the, the underlined part to get as an answer, I need to make the question. The work, the work indicates action or things or the result. And for that case, we use what. Then now the question comes, what? What is the helping verb in the sentence? If you find very clearly, had is the helping verb. Had is the helping verb. Now we make had. What had Ramu completed? This is what how to make the, the helping of Shu. We are going to make the question Shu. In the sentence, when they give helping verb, we can make the question very easily. In case, in case, in the sentence, helping verb is not given. What are the things are we going to do? In the sentence, if the helping verb is not given, we need to follow. Do, did, does. These are three things that we have to follow. Do, did, does. These are also, these are also helping out questions only. And we need to follow this one. Do, did, does. Actually, if I say clearly, do, he is about the V1. Does, we call as V5 because to the verb SRES will be added and did did is actually for the V2 what does it do? let me tell you one sentence clearly Ramu completed Ramu completed the work this is a sentence that we need to follow now the work is underlined when the work is underlined, here we didn't have any helping work. Before I told you, to make the double H coins, we can depend upon the helping of But what happened here? Here there is no helping work. In such kind of times, we need to take do, did, does. Any one we can take. When it's come to do, it is V1. When it comes to dash, it is V5. SRES will be added to the main verb. And now DT is about the V2. Now let us see. Ramu completed the work. Completed is V2. Completed is V2. Now what shall we take? Do, dash, did. We will take did. So therefore, the work is the thing or the result. What? What did Ramu complete. What did Ramu complete? What did Ramu complete? So this is the way we need to make. And when the easy Ramu are not given, we have to go like this. We have to use do. We have to use to make this double H questions. Let me go with one more example. Ramu is lunch Ramu eats lunch and now lunch is underlined and when the part lunch is underlined we have to know we should know how to make the how to frame the questions lunch what what is it is the main verb it is the main verb to eat yes is added as I told you yes or yes is added to the main verb that time we take does when s r e s is added we take does now see what does ramu 
eat what does ramu eat so this is the way we have to know we should know how to make the questions and one more example let me tell you very clearly ramu sorry we eat lunch we eat lunch now lunch is underlined we eat we subject it is v1 and now when it is v1 she do did does v1 for do so let us take what do we eat so this is all the way we should know how to frame the double h questions either helping verbs are given or not given if the helping verbs are given we have to take them help of the helping verbs if the helping verbs are not given we can take the help of do did does then it will help you a lot to to improve how to frame the questions it is really very very important in the 10th class how to improve the questions how to frame the questions because if you are not going to make in a proper way you are going to lose five marks the five marks in your hand do if you know how to make double h questions if you don't know how to make double h questions you are going to lose the five marks in the double h questions